Hi everyone, it is Cara the Bubble Lush with a very squirmy Hannah. Can I say hi? <laughs> hi. Hi everybody, can you wave? Hi. Oh, so shy. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so, um, new background. This is our den. We're downstairs and these are the bookcases. And I Yes. <laughs> I've thrown all my books and stuff on there, but I haven't made it pretty yet. So it'll be prettier in the future. Um, and Hannah is crazy. We brought some of her toys down here, but she hasn't really like accepted this as a playroom yet. So she might get a little cranky. I'm going to set her down. Let her explore. It's pretty much baby proof. There's just like some laundry that she's probably going to toss around. Because I just folded it. So why not? Right? So just to give you an idea, like... Um, these are bookcases behind me, and then out there is like a play area. So it's very nice. I really like it. Um, it's nice because I can be on the computer and I can pay attention to her, but kind of let her play independently because she's very into like kind of independent play, but then she wants to come over and hold, I don't know, she's crazy. Anyways, not the point. This has been a very big month. It's been very big. It's been very busy. Lots going on. And I feel like I haven't really gotten to like talk to you guys. <laughs> I made a car vlog um, back on that like super annoying day when I forgot all my pump pieces and I was just like so out of it. It was such a stupid day. <laughs> but um, I wanted to kind of tell you what's been going on in my life. So it's been a very busy summer. All of a sudden Oregon weather decided to be beautiful. Um, and Chris and I just got back from a full like eight days, seven night vacation to San Diego. Um, we went down because uh, the best man from our wedding was gonna be in town, he's originally from Massachusetts, and um, we wanted to go spend some time with them. I haven't even seen him since the wedding, so that was three years ago. So we went down and we spent like, you know, four days as just the three of us as a family. And then Eric joined us and we went and saw, you know, like the zoo and SeaWorld and stuff, so. We got to spend some time with him, which is really nice. He is a great guy. He's one of Chris's fraternity brothers, and he's probably one of my favorite of Chris's friends. And you know why? <laughs> I, finally, I finally figured it out, because we've been hanging out with a lot of Chris's friends, and I'll get into that. But it's because when he sees me, he gives me, like, a real hug. Instead of one of those, like, I can't give you a hug because my wife is watching kind of weird things. Like, he gives me, like, a real hug. Like, he's super happy to see me. So that's why I like him so much. <laughs> That's stupid, but I finally figured out, like, after all these years, why do I like Eric so much? Why is he such a great guy? Because he, like, gives me a real hug and he's happy to see me. So that's nice. Um, not that the other guys aren't happy, but they're just like, I don't know, it's weird. Um, so, before we went on vacation, for like four, oh goodness, it was Thursday to Tuesday, so it's a long weekend, super long weekend, um, we had some of our college friends from Massachusetts out here, and we had five kids four years and under. Uh, so they were from four months to four years old. It was crazy. We did so much stuff. We went hiking. We went to um, a brewery. We went to the gorge. We went to the zoo. Like we had an engagement party. Chris and I hosted like multiple meals for a group of like nine adults plus all those kids. So like it was just really busy. I have a squeaky chair. Anyways. <laughs> um, so you know, we spent a lot of time getting ready for those people because some of them were staying at our house. And um, before that, I worked on a big home improvement project. I completely like redid the downstairs bathroom, which was stupid because I had friends coming and I just reached up one night and started ripping down wallpaper. And I was like, oh crap. <laughs> now, now I'm like committed because that is the guest bath with the shower. So um, that was like a really big undertaking and we were really under the gun to get that done. And before that, we moved the iMac downstairs, uh, the beautiful new iMac, and turned the den into kind of a usable space. And so I wanted to thank my husband for giving up his man cave. He hadn't even really started the man cave building, but you know, this was supposed to be his man cave. He just didn't have the time to appreciate it. We could really use the space for Hannah to play in and for me to be able to edit videos and interact with you and have a place for our desktop. Um, and so his man cave, which was really just kind of like his wine room, um, got moved to, we have a little closet right here on the other side of the wall. It's like one of those under stairs closets, but it's pretty big. And, um, we were just going to put a wine storage rack in there and have all his wine because he has a pretty big collection. 
and instead while he was at work one day I painted everything and decorated it and built the wine cases and had everything ready to go and he came home and I was just like Hannah and I were uh, like we did something for you today like follow us and we went downstairs and I opened the door and he was just like it's done like, because it was such a big project on his, like, you know, he had friends coming and we had to clean the house and get everything ready. And, you know, he was still working. We didn't take any time off to prepare. So it was really kind of like a, oh, we have a lot to get done. And this is not going to be one of the things that gets done. And um, I just wanted to thank him for giving up his room. So I made that one of my, one of my projects on my weekends. So that was kind of a big undertaking. So because of all that, the doing the wine closet, doing the bathroom, having friends in town, then us being out of town. I just haven't had a chance to talk to you guys and I miss you. So um, I do stay in touch on Facebook. So if you, the only way you would like interact with me is on YouTube, then you probably haven't seen me in a while, except for the vacation videos I've been uploading, which I'll talk about more later. Um, but I usually am on Facebook and that's really how I prefer to talk with everyone because it's kind of, it's easier to interact. It's easier to like have a conversation instead of just responding to one comment. Oh yes, I did get my hair cut. I really like it. Um, I wanted more layers. This is kind of a little blunt for me. There are some layers in here, but they're not as defined as I wanted. But I really do like it with being in San Diego. My hair is all like sun bleached and I have kind of a little tan and I feel like I look good. I like I feel really energized and ready to get back to work. Um, I have oh, probably, well, less than a month until I go back to work full time. So like my maternity leave is up and um, you know, it's been so amazing working on a reduced schedule and being able to spend that extra time with Hannah and having long weekends all the time. Um, I really feel like I'm a mother first and an employee second, which, you know, is ideal. But really, I spend four days as a mother and only three days as an employee. So um, it reflects in my schedule. And now it's going to be kind of switched and I'm going to be spending less time with Hannah and she's going to be spending more time with Chris. Um, he's going to have two full daddy days. Um, grandma's gonna have two full grandma days and I'm gonna have three full Carla days so or mommy days so um, it'll take a little get getting used to but the thing is, is that this whole year I've been basically expected to perform at a full workload but at 75% of the time so I've just been stressed and feeling like you know I suck <laughs> at work for a full year because it's hard for me to get everything done um, so it will, in that respect, be nice to go back full time so that I'm, I'm able to really manage my workload and, um, you know, just kind of give my employer some, I guess, <sighs> belief that <laughs> I'm worth having around. <laughs> so that'll be good. Um, so yeah, and other than that, other than the big month of like all the stuff going on in my life, it has been a big month for me on YouTube. Um, this right now is my 250th video, which I'm really proud of because I feel like um, I feel like I put up decent content and not a lot of fluff, not a lot of like, you know, really short videos or not a lot of like multi-part, you know, 12 part videos. I try to put up like good content that's worth watching, that's worth your time because I know that you're taking time away from either your husband or your partner or your children to watch my videos or sleep or TV or eating ice cream to watch my videos, unless you multitask, which is the best thing to do, especially while eating ice cream. But, um, so I wanna make it worth your time and I want you to get something out of these videos. So um, I try to make them kind of quality videos or at least like touching base with you. Um, so I'm really proud that I have like 250 videos that I, I feel proud of for the most part. And um, I also hit 5,000 subscribers, which was just such a wow moment. <laughs> I mean, I, I remember hitting 100 subscribers and 200 subscribers. And when I hit 500 subscribers, that was a huge deal. And 5,000 subscribers is ridiculous. Like that's amazing and very humbling. I always say it all the time. Like it's extremely humbling that you guys like watching me. So thank you. Um, and then I hit 1 million video views. That means that if you took all my videos combined, they have been watched over a million times. And that's so neat. It's so neat because my videos, to me, I don't know what you think of them, but to me, they're all about um, either educating people about um, trying to conceive or um, sharing my journey through pregnancy and kind of letting you know this is what norm was normal for me. So if you're going through the same thing, then, you know, you're okay. <laughs> or especially, you know, if you're pregnant or trying to conceive with PCOS or blood clotting disorder, because um, I know both of those can be really scary. And um, 
And then, you know, I try to make videos of Hannah, which um, I know you guys are invested in my daughter and you like watching her grow up, but they're also for me because it's, it's so great to know that I can go back and see video when she was like six weeks old and it's hard to even, re it's like impossible to remember her that tiny, probably because I was so sleep deprived. But, um, it's such a great, oh, what is that called? Time capsule. It's like a time capsule of these past couple years of my life and, um, I just love that you guys are invested and you follow my journey and that's great and it has also been a big month on the TTC front no I'm not pregnant but um, I did take a big step today and I want to share it with you guys so right after this video um, I am going to go upstairs and get my calendar and then I'm gonna come down and record I think it's trying to can see baby number two episode three I think I don't think I've made an episode for like a month so I want to tell you guys what's going on and what step I made today and where things are going so I think that's it. 11 minutes. I talk very, very fast when I'm trying to keep this kind of short. It's been a big month. I've missed you, but hopefully I'll get back on track. Oh! Oh! Also! <laughs> oh! Do you want to come here? She's just walking around with a necklace. That's the ding-ling-ling. -ding -ding. Do you hear? Um, I have been uh, keeping a blog, and I know that some people have found it, and if you're on Facebook, I post the links, but um, I, I love having a, a blog because not only can I put you know my YouTube videos on there but I can also like write how I'm feeling sometimes it's it's just I don't have time to make a video let alone edit or upload but it's really easy for me to like type something during a break like um, while I'm pumping I can type and then I can upload it <laughs> so that's really great if you want to follow my blog I'm in the process of uh, buying the um, domains and everything like that and getting that all set up so right now it's got a blog spot address which I know is a little shady but um, I'll put the link below. Please go and follow it because um, if you like watching my videos, you're probably going to like watching um, the videos on the blog because not only do I have the blog, but then I usually like do some extra um, writing and I include pictures of Hannah. Yeah, thanks for the background music. Hannah likes that song. It's her favorite one. She starts dancing like this. Let it play. We want to listen. Yeah. Um, so anyways, follow the blog. I'll put the link below. Um, it is my new little love. I love it. And, uh, I hope to grow it. So I'm not going to ever quit making YouTube vlogs in the foreseeable future, but I am going to start blogging more, writing more. Um, and all of it in a nice little package is on the blog. So it's really easy to see. I feel about it. Of course, follow me on Facebook. The link is below. And that's it. Alright, now I'm at 13 minutes. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. But I miss you guys and uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you've been up to this month. What's the craziest thing that happened to you this month? And uh, I think that's better. Alright, bye guys.